I'm stand still in downtown Fairhope no more. We've reported the city's iconic clock at the intersection of Section Street and Fairhope Avenue has been broken for some time. WKRG News 5's Whitney Leibel tells you what was wrong with the clock and how a local watchmaker got the hands of time turning again. I'm attaching the um, adjustment rod. The face of what locals and visitors are used to seeing by now has finally been taken down and replaced with clock hands pointing at the right time. Louis Valencia works as a watchmaker at Brenny's Jewelry Store and volunteered to fix the well-known clock in downtown Fairhope. And Valencia said it was a challenge. Finally to get it over, you know, obviously it was a little nerve wracking trying to get a mechanism to fit in this clock. Uh, and I, I did have to customize it a little bit. And then uh, uh, the city obviously is going to hook up power to it and uh, get it cranked off. So uh, excited to see it going. And Valencia said it took almost five hours from start to finish to get this clock ticking once again. Valencia explained that the old mechanism in the clock was very user unfriendly, which is why it was constantly not working. But the mechanism that he chose and built into the clock is able to be fixed quickly and withstand power outages. Exactly. I put an adjustment on it so that we can fix it immediately. I can fix it. Mr. Brennan can fix it. You know, the time will be right. 99% of the time. The price tag for the restored clock is around $1,500, and Mr. Brenny was more than happy to cover it. Well, it's our pleasure. You know, it's the city of Fairhope. We, you know, it's just wonderful to be able to give back. Restoring time and tradition to the Eastern Shore. In Fairhope, Whitney Leibel, WKRG News 5.